What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield team builder ish. Because it's not a full team builder, it's more of where, excuse me, um, it's where it's more of where I show you what team we're going to be using and basically how the team functions. So it's a little bit of a team builder, but welcome back now. How do I even start this? Uh, first things first, I want to let you guys know that my uploading schedule is going to be the same. You guys are going to be wearing me, wear, you guys are going to be seeing me wear the same exact shirt because I st I'm starting a new job and I'm trying to record everything. I don't know what my schedule is going to be like yet, so I'm trying to record everything so I still have content for you guys um, within the timely matter. So this, this week and next week, you guys will be seeing a lot of the same shirt and I apologize about that. But without further ado let's get this team builder started the very first pokemon and let me go ahead and talk about our defensive core first lantern and skarmory you guys probably don't see the lantern really well yet but we'll get to that here shortly but lantern and skarmory and you guys are going to see exactly how this works here in just a moment so first and foremost we got skarmory leftover sturdy and um 252 hp evs 252 defensive evs and the rest into the attack stat Skarmory's primary role is to set up the stealth rock and those spikes and kind of tank physical hits And we of course have roots for recovery and brave bird for damage I did think about running dual wing beat, but I feel like Bra uh, brave bird is a little bit more better on our Skarmory We are in pitch nature by the way The second Pokemon on this team builder or on this team that we're going to be using is executor we are running Harvest, Citrus Berry. I thought about doing Figgy Berry, but I, I'm going to be honest, I haven't done a whole lot of research onto the Figgy Berry or Berry similar to the Figgy Berry. So we're going to run Citrus Berry just because. we I have come into situations before where I'm using a Trevenant, for example, and we get the Harvest right away. And it basically serves as attack and then kind of, kind of, you know, get a little bit of health back with the Citrus Berry and then switch out. Hopefully Harvest within the process also. We're running Flamethrower for coverage. Draco Meteor, which is going to be a really strong attack, given that Executor's base special attack is 125. And essentially it's stabbed. So we got Extra Sensory as another, um, it, it's another coverage move. And we got Leaf Storm. At, which is going to serve as our primary stab because we got Rillaboom who has the grassy surge So Leaf Storm is going to do a lot of damage Now we are running Modest, Executor, 252 HP, 252 Special Attack and the rest into the Special Defense On to the third Pokemon of our team We're running uh, Unovan Darmanitan, 252 uh, Attack, 252 Speed Jolly Nature, Choice Scarf, Sheer Force, Darmanitan One of my favorite Pokemon uh, within the Unova region. So we got U-turn for pivot Our biggest thing with this team is to pivot with our Manitan and pivot with Lantern and you guys are gonna see that here shortly uh, As to what moves and how, why, why I'm running Lantern the way I am But we got our Manitan with the choice card for U-turn for pivot of course superpower for coverage Earthquake for coverage and flare blitz as a stab attack though I really want our Manitan to be alive for most of the battles so I want to try to click U-turn as much as I can, and in some situations, maybe click Flare Turn, uh, not Flare Turn, Flare Blitz, uh, depending on the situation that we're on. Flare Blitz is going to do a lot of damage when it comes to the Darmanitan. On to the fourth Pokemon of our team, and this is where our defensive core ties in together, because we got Lantern with Volt Absorb. If you look at Skarmory's weaknesses, you will see that it's weak to the Electric Pokemon, it's weak to Fire, and I think that I believe that's everything just electric and fire and lantern actually covers those perfect because it's it's got bolt absorb So it has Skarmory's immunity with the electric type attack And then when it comes to the fire type attacks, we resist fire So lantern is gonna be a really cool Pokemon to use we got 252 HP on it 252 special defense and the rest into the special attack. We're running bolt absorb and it is a calm nature or not Volt Absorb, we're running Assault Vest and it is a Golem Nature. We got Bolt Switch for Slow Pivots. If we're against a Pokemon that hits us within the special side, we're gonna take the attack very well and we can just pivot out of there with the Volt Switch and then we get we get priority out of it. Uh, switch priority, of course. And then we got Discharge because Discharge has the exact same percentage to Paralyze as Scald does to Burn. 
So Discharge and Scald are going to be two of the attacks we're going to be clicking a lot. A same thing with Volt Switch. Ice Beam, I'm going to be honest, I'm not, I don't see us using it so much, but it is there for coverage against Dragon types, for example. Um, any Grass types, you know, things of that nature. And then we got Scald to try to get burns on everything that, you know, really threatens Skarmory, Lantern, or any other Pokemon. Even though we're not going to keep Lantern as much when it comes to physical attackers. Now, the fifth Pokemon in our team builder here is going to be Azumarill. Choice Banded Azumarill. You can actually run Azumarill with a Assault Vest also. But given the structure of my team, Azumarill actually is going to be better within the Choice Banded side. So we got Adamant Azumarill. Our EV spread with, with Azumarill, I'm going to be honest, is all over the place. So I'm, what I'm going to do is pull that up for you guys right now. What I do know for sure is that Azumarill is 252 HP. Or not 252 HP, 252 attack to maximize the output. You can see already that we have huge power. Huge power, choice, band, and adamant nature and max out the attack. Azumarill is gonna doing is gonna be doing so many so so much damage on my opponent's teams, and it's just so exciting that we're gonna be using a Pokemon like Azumarill. Now we're running 252 attack, 172 HP for bulk and 86 speed in case we need to outspeed any pokemon that are really tanks or any walls that we ha we have to go through you probably noticed right off the bat that we don't have aqua jet on this thing and let me tell you why so this is a shiny azumarill i brought this shiny azumarill in from pokemon omega ruby alpha sapphire and to pokemon sword and shield and i wanted to use this thing in ranked battles so if you go to the battle tower there's this person you got to talk to that makes their pokemon eligible for rank battles but it has to they have to forget every single move that they have and throughout the process i had aqua jet on the azumarill but i sacrificed the aqua jet in order to use this thing for rank battles so that's why we don't have any priority on azumarill unfortunately we would have been running double priority with azumarill and rulaboom but it is what it is so in this particular case here we're running bulldoze i chose bulldoze because azumarill's um Physical move pool is not the greatest. There's not a whole lot you can choose from. But Bulldoze is there for, of course, ground coverage. And also, it's what Bulldoze does is if you hit Bulldoze, it works just like Rock Tomb. So they're gonna their speed is gonna drop on the opponent's Pokemon by one stage. And sometimes that can be the difference maker in certain battles. So we have Bulldoze for that reason there. We got Liquidation as one of our primary stabs, superpower for coverage play rough as one of our uh, primary stabs also and last but not least this is the pokemon we're building around in this team builder here you go into smogon you see a lot of choice banded rillabooms you go into you know you have a conversation with anybody and they'll tell you that choice banded rillaboom is the best set and in all reality it kind of is because if you want to get damage right off the bat you know, Choice Banded Rillaboom is going to do a lot of damage, but since we already have a Choice Banded Pokemon within Azumarill here, we're going to be using Rillaboom um, with a Life Orb. So we're not running Choice Banded Rillaboom like most people are. What you do see sometimes is some Rillaboom run Sword Dance, which is actually the second best set that you can use. And let me tell you what. Let me tell you why. So this Rillaboom has 252 attack, 252 speed, and throw the rest into the defensive stat. We're running Life Orb. Sword Stance is there because if I set up, if I take a turn to set up, Rillaboom is gonna be plus two attack. The way Choice Band works is that your Pokemon, you slap it onto your Pokemon, they're automatically at a plus one. So, in all reality, if I set up a Sword Stance and hit, up, hit, hit a Glassy Glide on the next turn, it's gonna be doing more damage than a Choice Band. And aside from that, we're running we're running a Gigantamax Rillaboom. Um, so that's basically why we're running Sword Dance on the Rillaboom because of the max guard. Sometimes I, I, I feel like I'm going to be in some situations given that I'm running two grass type attacks. I feel like I'm going to run into a situation where I have to max guard in order to burn a turn from my Dynamax. And then from there, I can just priority with Glassy Glide. To if something outspeeds me because we are adamant nature so grassy glide is going to be the move we're going to be clicking on the most drum beating is there because if i run into a rocky helmet pokemon 
drum beating is not going to do physical contact against it so we'll save a little bit of health with the rillaboom given that it's already taking health from the life orb last but not least we got super power for coverage and also if you dynamax it turns into max knuckle giving me a plus one sometimes we can go plus three with the rillaboom so there you have it that is going to be our team for the next um i'm going to do one two i'm going to do four battles with this team and let me tell you why I mentioned that I'm doing I'm getting another job. I don't have I don't really have content for this upcoming Wednesday um, So what I decided to do is I'm gonna do another uh, I'm gonna do a Wi-Fi battle on Wednesday a Wi-Fi battle on Friday And then next week I'm gonna do a Wi-Fi battle on Monday a Wi-Fi battle on Friday and on Wednesday I'll either do some Smash Bros against somebody uh, Fall links and a couple other friends of ours wanted to do a multi battle So I don't know if we'll be doing that on um, Mario Kart. I don't know 100% what I'm gonna do the next Wednesday yet I don't know if I want to start a next uh, let's play or something like that because I do got mystery dungeon and I've been wanting to play that for a long time and I have not played it since it's released and I've had it since it released so I really want to play that but stay tuned make sure you guys subscribe so you guys stay updated as far as what uploads we're gonna do I will see you guys with our first Wi-Fi battle on Wednesday so make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoy this team if you guys feel like this team is gonna excel Comment down below on any changes that you guys would make on this team. I'm curious to see what changes you guys would make, whether it's a Pokemon or items or EV spread, moves, whatever the case may be. Just let me know. Subscribe to my channel for Pokemon Sword and Shields content. I will see you guys on Wednesday.